monkeys represent the three biggest lessons I've had, the three biggest inflection points that have led me to the success I have today. This is a box, but it's not any regular box. What is the secret to success after all? So, the day has come. Today is the day you're gonna find out the secret to success. Now you hear things like information is the currency of the 21st century, or information is the new oil of the digital economy, or information is the most valuable currency today. And things like information is freedom, and I'm sure that you've heard all of these sayings before. And they're directly related to the secret to success online, but not exactly in the way you think of. And let me explain what I mean here, because people make it sound that as long as you have information, you have access to a well of unlimited success and prosperity. And this is almost as if information was this extremely hard to acquire asset and guarded only for a special few. I mean, you've already probably figured out that that's far from what happens in practice this because if that was the case, everyone with a college degree would be making a killing and living their dream lives, which as you probably already noticed is not really how things work. And all I can think of when I hear these quotes is that if information was truly the secret to success, well then everyone would have a six pack. After all, we all know how to get one, right? And it's not that these quotes are wrong or a flat out lie, they are just simply outdated. Because information was once the world's most valuable currency. You see, centuries ago and even decades ago, information was a very scarce asset. I mean, back then, the ones who had it indeed possessed the most valuable currency at the time. Because just like gold, only a few had plenty of it. Information was something that you had to work for for years and you also had to pay a small fortune in order to obtain it. And only a few had access to it, again, just like gold. But imagine this scenario. Let's say someone stumbled on an unlimited amount of gold and they could mine as much gold as they wanted. And no matter how much they mine, there would always be an infinite supply. Eventually, we get to a point where there's more gold in supply than we know what to do with. And every one of us has access to unlimited gold bars on demand 24 seven and virtually for free with just a few simple clicks. In that scenario, what would happen to the value of gold? Its value would plummet. If everyone has limited access to it, it is simply not valuable anymore. It's simple supply and demand. And I know that that's a fictitious scenario that's never actually gonna happen to gold, but that is exactly what's happened to information. What once was a very scarce resource is now extremely abundant to the point where one cannot consume all the information available out there because there's simply too much of it. And its value, it's virtually zero. And this leads us back directly to the secret to success online. You see, the secret for you to achieve financial location and time freedom and accomplish more in one year than most people accomplish in 10. And the secret of those who get rich is not the information they have. Neither is it the resources, the financial resources, the human resources. I mean, in this day and age, it doesn't matter if you have little to none of those. Think about it. Airbnb became the biggest hospitality company in the world without owning a single room. And Uber became the biggest transportation company in the world without owning a single car. I mean, even Alibaba, it became the world's most valuable retail company in the world without having any inventory. The success of those companies was never about the resources that they had. Do you know what the secret to success actually is? The secret to their success was their access. Because Uber doesn't own any cars, but they have access to a fleet of millions of cars worldwide. And Airbnb doesn't own any properties, but they have access to millions of properties in more than 100,000 different cities. And in that same token, Alibaba doesn't own any inventory, but they have access to virtually unlimited amounts of products. Their secret to success online is access. So pay attention to this. Everything in life is about access. Access to the right opportunities, the right people, as well as the right knowledge. The success you achieve in this life is directly related to the quality of opportunities that you have. The better the opportunities you get, the more likely you are to succeed. Would it be totally out of this world to think that if you had access to better opportunities, you do better off than you are today? I mean, it makes sense that you would, right? And if you had access to the right knowledge, don't you think that the likelihood of you knowing how to take full advantage of those opportunities when they present themselves would also, in that case, be much higher. And what if you had access to the most knowledgeable and wealthy people in the world? In that scenario, don't you think that the likelihood of you accessing the most valuable knowledge and coming across the most valuable opportunities are also 10 times higher? You see, one brings the other. Access to opportunities increases your chances of success. And access to the right knowledge increases your chances of making the most out of the opportunities that you get. And lastly, access to the right people gets you better opportunities and more valuable knowledge in the first place. My point here is really this. 
that in a world where information is abundant, access has really become the new gold. Access is now the world's most valuable currency, and that is the secret to success online. Now, how do you get access to the right opportunities, to the right people, and to the right knowledge? Well, having access to the right opportunities really comes down to two things. The first one is being aware of the right opportunities. Otherwise, they're just gonna go straight over your head. And number two, it's also about being able to take advantage of them when the right opportunity presents itself. Even in the last episode, I gave you the plan to make 10 years worth of progress in one. And inside of it, I made you aware of the three best opportunities to make money online today. And those are starting an ROI agency, becoming a remote sales rep, and making money with words. So step number one is already checked off the list because you're already aware of the opportunities. And now I'm gonna share with you what it takes to succeed with them. When it comes to succeeding with all these opportunities, they all share a similar theme. So let's start with the ROI agency. Having success with your agency is all about having the right structure. And the right structure in this case is composed of three steps. And they are knowing what is the best service to offer to which specific niche or segment of the market. The second being knowing how to reach out to those clients in the right way. And number three, knowing how to outsource the delivery of your service to contractors. And if you nail down this three-step structure, you will inevitably find success with your agency. And it may take three months, it may take six months, it may even take 12 months. But once you nail down the right structure, you'll start getting success. And this is how you take advantage of this opportunity. It's as simple as that. You just gotta nail down the structure. And the same applies for the remote sales rep path. If you wanna succeed with it, you have to have the right framework. And the right framework for you is sales calls, a framework that allows you to do three things. Number one, gather information about the prospect. Number two, uncover what is the real problem that they are facing. And number three is present a solution that solves their exact problem. And when you have this framework nailed down, success in this position is inevitable. And that's why all of our remote sales reps and my own companies get paid so well. You see, Paul, my CEO, he has really developed a sales framework for them that is carefully structured to first gather the right information from the prospect, to then pinpoint what is the underlying problem that they're facing, and then finally elicit the right emotions at the right time to get them to take the decision. The order of the words and the arguments of the script is what makes it so powerful. And this sales framework has been battle tested for years and generated more than $30 million just on remote Zoom calls. And this type of framework can be applied to any type of sales. We use it at multiple of my different online businesses, whether it be the software company, the e-learning company, because really once you have such framework nailed down, all you gotta do is find a product to sell and fit it into your script. And that's how you really tap into the fullest potential of the opportunity of becoming a remote sales rep by following the framework. And the exact same thing applies to making money with words. In order to make the most out of that opportunity, you gotta have a proper structure you follow when you write sales copy. And in order for your sales copy to sell, whether that's a page, an email, a video, an ad, it really has to accomplish four things. It needs to get people to take action, and before people take action, your copy must get them to take a decision. And the decision is to take action in the first place. Now, before you can get them to take a decision, your copy must get them interested in what you have. And before you can get people interested, you have to earn their attention. And for every single text or copy or whatever you wanna call it that we write in my companies, we follow a very specific and rigid framework that Luis, my CMO, developed. And this framework ensures that we hit each one of these points every single time. And that's why I know that every single time I deploy them, whether that's through a video, an email, an ad, Whatever the medium is, I know for a fact that we're gonna make money and we're gonna make a lot of it. Because Luis's airtight framework for making money with words ensures that we hit those points every single time. And there's something really important here, so pay attention. If you miss one of these points, your entire chain of arguments breaks down. And that's because it's very easy to have a call to action at the end of the text by telling people to buy your product now but that doesn't really serve any purpose if you didn't get their attention right at the beginning. So if you miss that, they're never gonna read past your first paragraph and they won't ever come across the call to action at the end of your text anyways. So that is why it's so important that you have a framework that is sequential and check each one of the boxes at the right time and in the right order. And that my friend is how you make money with words. So if you wanna take advantage of the three opportunities I presented to you, make sure you have the right framework and structures in place to succeed with the path of your choice. 
Now let's talk about how to get access to the right people because most people think that having access to the right people means knowing someone who's extremely wealthy who for some God knows why reason will give you money or some magical advice for you to start your business. Or maybe that they'll give you a high-end paying job in their companies just because you know them. Well, I hate to break it down to you, that's not how it works in practice. And trust me, this is coming from someone who has many billionaire friends. Literally my neighbor is the richest man listed in Dubai. Super sweet guy, we always have fascinating conversations. Does he do anything for my life? Absolutely not. And that's been the reality of pretty much all of the billionaire friends that I have. It's cool, we can hang out and spend time together and relate on a bunch of things, but they really don't bring much else to my life except for that. So don't think that just because someone has a lot of money that they are valuable in your life because that couldn't be the furthest thing from the truth. That is simply in movies. Listen, in real life, no one's gonna give you money to invest in a miraculous idea or give you a job that you do not deserve. But having access to the right people is still one of the most valuable things you could have. Here's why. This is what having access to the right people actually looks like. Let's say you're trying to get a client for whatever service you deliver. You just got started and you decided that you want to service e-commerce stores that sell items for $100 or less, and you want to work with them exclusively in a profit share deal, AKA whatever profit you make them after everything, you keep a percentage. And at first it looks like you perfectly checked all the boxes, which is you chose a specific niche, you've chosen a pricing model that makes it a no brainer for clients to work with you. So the outreach part of things is very easy. And let's say you even manage to find a contractor who is super experienced with e-commerce stores. I mean, it looks like everything is aligning perfectly for you to make a killing with this service until it's not because on the surface, everything looks great. But in reality, what's most likely going to happen here is that you're going to get three to five clients. You're going to work your bottom off seven days a week, trying to make ends meet for five, six, eight months until you finally give up because you're working like a slave and barely making enough money to pay the bills. But why is that? Because you have chosen the worst possible combination of niche service and pricing model. E-commerce stores that work with low ticket products like that, you know, let's say $30, $40, even $80 are notorious for having terrible profit margins. So if you're working on a profit share basis, you're going to be working like a slave to try to increase their revenue while having to deal with single digit margins, which means that at the end of the month, despite your efforts, you're going to get paid terribly. And it gets worse because you can spend months spinning your wheels until you burn out and just decide to give up. Now let's imagine the same scenario, but this time you have someone experienced in your corner to help you. And by the way, I'm not talking about a billionaire that made money in a totally different industry because having a billionaire friend who made his money through home tech or made his money in oil and gas is not going to be able to tell you these things. So it's not how famous or rich your friends are. It's what do they know that can actually benefit your life, your business, the things that you're going through. So if you had that person, in this case, they'd have told you from the get go that this is most likely not going to work. And maybe you should reconsider your niche from low ticket e-commerce stores to something else. Let's say, for example, info products, because that sort of business has extremely good margins. So with that kind of company, it makes sense to have profit share deals with them. Now, I'm not saying don't work with e-commerce stores in general. I'm just saying that's the wrong pricing model for that specific business. So a simple five minute conversation with someone who has a little bit of experience in this industry would have saved you five, six, 12 months of your life and an unmeasurable amount of stress. And this is why you must run your decisions through the right people, not just anyone, but the right person. And why having access to them is so crucial to your success, especially when you're first getting started. And there's a lot of these situations where you can set yourself up for failure before you even get started. And you simply don't realize it yet because you don't have the experience to do so yet. On the other hand, people who have more experience would have identified your mistake from first glance. I mean, have you ever asked yourself why every single entrepreneur preaches the importance of having mentors? Well, that's why. Listen, mentors don't give you the secret to success. They just avoid you from making mistakes that would have cost you months or even years of your life. And listen, you need this feedback if you want to succeed. If you want to improve, you need feedback. And quite frankly, that is how all systems develop. From business processes to machine learning to us humans, when it comes to developing a new skill, there's first an input. And this can be the work that you put into your career or something that you tell ChatGPT to write for machine learning example. And this is your input. Then there's an output that has resulted from your input. And in your career, this is the money you get paid from your work. And for ChatGPT, that is the text that it pumps out from your prompt. Then there comes the most important step of them all, and that is feedback. I mean, let's use ChatGPT, for example. 
That would be you telling it, oh, uh, make the text shorter or use more simple words. It then takes this feedback and learns from it. And this way it can improve its output next time. So for you, if you don't have someone giving you feedback, you are missing this step. And if that's the case, you're not improving, which means you're going to keep making different mistakes over and over because the only way for you to learn is through the mistakes that you make. And listen, let me tell you something about life. It takes a long time to learn from your mistakes. I'm sure that you've already noticed that in your life. You never learn from your mistakes instantly. It takes months to process what you've experienced and distill lessons from your mistakes. So if you don't have someone giving you feedback, you're going to keep bumping your head against the wall for a long time until you figure everything out on your own. And that is why it takes you 10 years to achieve what you should have achieved in one. And that, my friend, is the importance of having access to the right people, not just anyone, not just a big name, but the right people. So whatever path you're following, make sure to find someone who has already walked the same path before and have them in your corner. And if you have to pay them, do it because it will save you years of your life and you're going to make significantly more money at the end. Now, let's talk about how to get access to the right knowledge. Here's kind of the thing about having access to the right knowledge. Most people know that if you have access to the right opportunities, you're way more likely to succeed in life. But what most people don't realize is that they probably have come across the right opportunities a few times already. And when they did, they missed out on them. Or you're going to tell me about how you didn't hear about Bitcoin and even thought about investing in it back in 2015, back then when it was worth less than $1,000. Don't worry, we all did. Anyways, what is important to understand is why we've missed such opportunities. The reason we did is because we lacked the right knowledge to, first of all, identify that it was a good opportunity in the first place. And then number two, take advantage of it. I mean, really think about it. If I told you with 100% accuracy which stocks would go up and which stocks would go down, how much would you be willing to invest in one of those companies? As much as you can and probably everything you have. That is the power of having access to the right knowledge. Now, we live in a time where getting access to the right knowledge is starting to become a little bit tricky. For example, I just told you about all of these opportunities that are available out there right now. But what's the first thing most people do after learning about them? They get home super excited about what they just learned and they start researching about it. Then they fall into a little bit of a trap. They find a YouTube video about it, then another one, and then another. And very quickly, the clever algorithms of the social media networks, well, they pick up on that. And then what do they do? Well, they start serving you with more and more videos about that topic. And you end up getting on a never ending rabbit hole of content about this new topic that you just learned. And then you get advice from 10, 20, 30 different people at the same time. And that makes you confused. And then you don't know how to act because everyone is saying something slightly different and you get conflicting advice, which just makes you even more confused. So you quickly go from excited to confused to frustrated. And when you finally manage to pull yourself out of this rabbit hole, and that is if you even manage to do it, when you decide to take action, it is simply too late because you lost the opportunity because you were too busy being tricked by the algorithms. Remember, the algorithms are not your friends. They want you to endlessly consume content after content. They don't want you to watch one single piece of content and succeed because that's not profitable for them. What is profitable to them is to drive you into an endless rabbit hole of content. So that way you always feel like you're learning, but you're not actually getting anywhere. And that, my friend, is how you get screwed. So at the end of all of this, we're faced with a very tricky scenario when it comes to having access to the right knowledge. Because on one side, we're faced with an algorithmic war, artificial intelligence that want to push you down an endless rabbit hole of content consumption without you ever succeeding. And on the other hand of this, you have universities with their broad and non-specific curriculums, which by the way is unnecessarily long and have little to no application in the real life. So what's the end game? Because if on one side we're faced with algorithms feeding you with endless content, and on the other hand, we're faced with colleges which have broad curriculums that are not result oriented. Well, in that case, how do we get access to the right knowledge then? And I'm going to be honest, I've tried to come up with a solution for this in the past, but the truth is none of them have had the global scale results that I expected. And for years, I tried to avoid and avoid this reality. This is a big problem. And listen, if I'm going to be very vulnerable with you for a second, I've been uploading on YouTube for many years now. And when I first started, I was just sharing content of me going from broke to signing my first client to 
hitting my first 5K month and then 10K month and then taking care of my mom, moving into my dream apartment at 17 and finally just having some peace and quiet in my life. All the way from that to building my team, even though it was small to start with and then growing and growing over the years and then feeling like, okay, cool, I took care of me and my mom. Now I can take care of my friends. And once I did that, I started building schools in Nepal. And like, I went through this whole journey and I've changed, of course I've changed. I went from 2016, if I made $10,000 that year, that would have been a success. Whereas these days, if I make $10 million after tax, it's an absolute failure. So yeah, I've changed and my content has changed in accordance to that. And I'll be honest, a lot of times on YouTube these days, I just upload things that I'm interested in. When I do little events and series, it's about topics that I'm interested in or some conspiracy theory stuff or diving into a topic. But I understand for a lot of people, that doesn't apply. A lot of you guys are just like I was when I first started uploading on YouTube. You just want to make your first couple hundred dollars a month, your first couple thousand dollars a month. And I haven't been making content for those people or at least specific content or or at least really looking at these people and going, I want to help you guys. And I want to give you a solution that fits your personality. Because listen, I may have started an agency that worked for me. Cool. That's not going to work for every single person. And I knew that I had to do something and take some action to help me at 16. But I don't know. I just got comfortable with my other businesses, them spitting out cash. And I guess I got too comfortable to not face the biggest thing in my initial mission in life, which is reforming the education system and giving people the tools, any person, the tools to succeed and win. I realized looking at my career, I'm not done. I'm not at a place right now where I want to turn a cold shoulder to me at 16. And cool, I've got all these software companies and very niche specific companies that help specific types of people. And I've got my investments, I've got my family office, I've got my private bankers and life is cool. But I just had this feeling the last year or two years that like, I need to have one final hurrah. I need to have my one final impact on the culture before I start getting into very soon the hundreds of millions of dollars and even the big billion. And at that point, I just don't think I could help 16 year old me anymore. So that's really why I've brought you here in this journey in the first place, because you are here on a mission. Because as I mentioned so far, I've been the protagonist to this story. But on Monday, I want you to become the protagonist of your own story. And for that to happen, I need something to change, something monumental needed to happen. And that's precisely why I have decided I'm starting a revolution. As I told you, the world's most valuable currency is access. And I've decided that is what I'm gonna give to the world, access. So that's why on Monday at 5 p.m. UK time, you will see a revolution being born right in front of your eyes. And if you're brave enough, I invite you to be a part of it. So I'll see you Monday at 5 p.m. UK.